Can you get someone over here now to 325 Gretna Green? He's back. Please. Well, okay, what does he look like? He's O.J. Simpson. I think you know his record. Okay, what is he saying? Oh, something about some guy I know in Hookers and Keith. And not his eyes. We're with Della. I started before, and, mm -hmm. and it's all my fault. And now what am I going to do? Get the police on this. And the whole thing. Okay. It's all my fault. I started this before. I don't think he gets exposed. Okay. <laughs> Cole Brown Simpson made that 911 call in October of 1993. O.J. burst into the home, threatened her. Back with Rolanda, Annalise, Judge Ross. And joining him on the phone, I have Keith Zlomswicz. Hope I pronounced his name right, Zlomswicz, who had dated Nicole. Now, she mentioned, Keith, she mentioned you in that 911 call we just heard. What was happening there? Well, I wasn't aware of that phone call until the trial when those 911 tapes were released. Um, it had been a period of time that Nicole and I had been just communicating over the phone, and all of a sudden we lost contact for about three or four days. And what had happened was is I came home, and uh, one afternoon I had a voicemail from OJ on my home phone in Aspen, Colorado. Uh, he was on apparently on the set of a movie, and a girl that I used to date was with him and brought up my name to him and that enraged him so he felt compelled to call my voicemail at home and leave me a message uh, i immediately knew that would be trouble for nicole so i tried to reach out to her keith um, keith what was in that message yeah it was sort of a sarcastic sort of hey this is your old pal oj you know i'm here with a friend of yours hmm. you know a little bit more dialogue i wish i had saved it but i didn't and did you did you know that uh, there was domestic violence in that relationship absolutely i mean i i I knew everything. Nicole told me everything. We we witnessed the stalking firsthand. I mean, he followed us everywhere. He watched us through windows, showed up at every restaurant and every bar we ever went to. He made it absolutely difficult, impossible for us to be together. So after that phase of it ended, you know, we became best friends and we communicated on a constant basis. And she told me a lot of personal information that I don't think she shared with a lot of people, whether she was embarrassed about it or felt like she didn't want to... Um, is there, any, is there anything that the public should know to help understand this case? I'm sorry? Is there anything that you know the public should know or that reasonably we could ask you? Well, I, I mean, I know that she was beaten on a pretty consistent basis and she was abused consistently by him. I mean, she told me of numerous accounts of, of him, you know, beating her and abusing her and treating her just horribly. I witnessed a lot of it myself. Um, you know, it just, uh, it, it was just frightening to be around, so.